And hello YouTube, this is GS Man I'm Smart here with another brand new tutorial and this one's going to be on GIMP once more and today's tutorial on GIMP will be featuring how to create a glossy effect or also known as a shine effect and this is mostly seen on buttons, on um, badges, trophies, on basically anything on, on a phone I know on the Apple website they have a lot of phones who have the shine effect and this is kind of how they do it so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file new and you can pick any size you want I'm just gonna keep the default size okay and we have here our image now what you want to do is you want to um, if you already have a design template then you can use that I'm just gonna make a rectangle for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna use rounded corners here so you can check this button if you're following along and use practice I'm gonna use a 10 I'm just gonna go and make a box sort of and you can press enter to make your selection onto the image and you wanna click your paint bucket tool and you wanna click the uh, black foreground color and you can just click inside the square here that we made with the rectangle tool at the very top here. And then when you have your your black rectangle here, you can click the white sheet here at the bottom to create a new layer, which is in the layers menu. You can click that. Make sure you have it on transparency mode, everything else on default. You can click OK. Now make sure you have your new layer selected. Not your background, but your new layer selected. Now here's where you can zoom in a little bit if you need to. Okay, now you're going to get your Paths tool, which is underneath the Lasso tool here. The Paths tool should be in the second row. Depends on how your GIMP is laid out, but it should be uh, this button right here, sort of with dots. And the Paths tool, you're going to click on the top of your area that you want to make a shine effect on. And on the other side, and then you're going to want to... This depends on your size of your... Uh, of your template you're putting a shine on. I'm gonna make mine go about right here and you can edit the paths if you mess up or something just by clicking the dots here. Now you should have three dots you're gonna click the control button after you make your three dots and then you're gonna while holding the control button you're gonna go back to your first dot and while holding the control button still you're gonna click the first dot to make a line here. Now with this line you're going to click the selection from path right here selection from path and you should get a selection outline like that now you're gonna get your blade gradient tool or your blend tool which is this grayish blackish whitish box right here and you can click that and you wanna make sure you have this as white the foreground color as white and where it says gradient here this little box make sure you have foreground to transparent which is FG to transparent it should be the fourth one on your list with the little checkerboard boxes on the right side and you can click that so there we go everything else can you can leave the same you can have it and make sure you have it in linear mode at a zero zero offset and now we're going to simply click and drag from the top corner down to where we want shine effect. Now that shine effect looks a little tilted to the right, so I'm going to press Control Z to undo. If you're on a Mac, Command Z, Command Z, and then we're going to. You can mess around the uh, a gradient tool here to see where your shine fits best, and I think that was a good fit right there, like that. That's good. Now after you have your gradient, you can go up to Select. You can go up to None and then make sure you still have your new layer selected now this is how you could leave it if you wanted to leave it like that you can also use your move tool right here the four little arrows and move your shine if it's not perfectly aligned but mine's perfectly aligned so I can always if this is too intense of a shine you can always get your opacity right here and you can always go and um, make it lower or make it higher or put it in the middle or something like that to get the shine um, more natural so I'm gonna keep it about 76 or so. Now if this little line bothers you right here, you can always um blend it in with a blur tool or um smudge tool or the blur tool. Those two tools work very well and you can just um blur this line or blend it in with the black if it bothers you that much, but it sh but it shouldn't really uh, because most likely you're not gonna be working with a plain black design, so it'll just 
blend in naturally. But this is how you make a very simple shine effect. It works on anything really, just follow these simple steps. And um, remember to merge your layers down, right click, merge down, and there's your image. So I hope you all learn how to make a glossy effect or a shine effect. And um, you can like this video, uh, comment if you would like to. You can add me as a friend, I accept all friend requests. And uh, if you would like to, you can subscribe. I have plenty of other tutorials and I'm making many more. And um, this is GS Man, I'm smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.